signing in. Your prescription says one refill. And that's that's what we have to go by. Yes, I, I totally understand. I wish I could help you. But you will have to talk to me. Mr. Green, you need it up on 10. All right, I'll be right there. Mr. Green, if you're signed in, you're working. I'll have he to call. He said you'll be right there. <laughs> and then there's Lacey. Kanisha likes to say that Lacey's got it made. And in a way, I suppose she does. But got it made into what, exactly? It's not a test. I already told you, Mom, it is just a quiz. A quiz. I don't care what it is. After that English test last week, you need all the help that you can get. That was in English. This is biology. So you're saying I can't go to the mall? Because I need to bring up my English rate with the biology quiz? No! I'm just... Now you know, if your father were here, you... If Dad were here, I'd be at the mall already. I do. It's for Sean. Ever since Charles left last month, his grades have been slipping. And Charles was always the one who kept after him about his homework. But he won't listen to me at all. And he's gotten all these rap videos at the mall. And now he's got this, this attitude. I just don't know what's gotten into him. Don't get me started on that hip hop. My brother was into gangster rap too. Now he's in jail. Sean had always planned to go to college. It wasn't that we were forcing him or anything. He was interested himself. And now that's changed. It's almost like he doesn't care anymore. My brother stopped caring too. Right after he started listening to that gangster rap. Honey, have you talked to him about this? I mean, it sounds like it has something to do with Charles leaving. I'm sure it does, Sonia. But he won't talk to me at all. He acts like, um, well, the enemy or something. Like it's my fault that Charles left. I just don't know. Okay. We'll pray for you both to find guidance in this time of trial. Okay? Apparently, Kanisha's hatred of men had its limits. <clears throat> uh, did I miss something? Meet Adam and Vanessa, the leading man and lady of Splinter. Really? Well, congratulations, I guess. I never knew you were an actress. Baby, I was born on the stage. I am one performance no audience will ever forget. Uh-uh. What? Somebody's got some explaining to do. Explain what? How Kenesha Jackson has gotten herself wrapped up in a man. What? Oh, ain't none of that true. And that's not what I heard. And that's not what I saw. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate the call. Detention? Sean, you have never gotten detention in your life. Can you tell me what... What in the world have you got on? Clothes. Real clothes. You mean you went to school today in that... that clown outfit? Clown outfit? Those sucker suits you had me wearing was a clown outfit. This be the get the brothers on the streets wear. Brothers? On the streets? The brothers on the streets. The real soldiers. Soldiers? Is this about your father? Wait a minute. I just got a call from your school saying that you called one of your teachers a rhymes with witch. 
She is a witch. And that class she teaches is bull. History class is bull. Sean, the assignment was on Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass is not bull. What's wrong with you? I'm tired of reading and studying them old Negroes. I need to get out on the street and make me some money, like the real brothers do. Sean, what are you talking about? Real brothers? You mean those ghetto people? Sean, if you think that those people can help... <sighs> it's that hip-hop music, isn't it? That stuff has finally gone to your head. What's gone to my head is the fact that a brother like me needs to be doing his own thing. He needs to be cruising and tapping some poutine. Sean! I can't believe what I'm hearing. You're talking like some ghetto thug. I'm talking real. Well then tell me this, Mr. Real. What about this detention? Calling your teacher names. Sean, you know I raised you better than that. That woman disrespected me. And I ain't taking disrespect from nobody. Asking for your homework assignment on one of our African-American heroes is disrespecting you? She act like that homework was everything. I can't make no money doing no homework. And I'm tired of doing all that homework and taking crap off the teacher like some punk white boy. And I'm tired of talking and dressing like some punk white boy. I'm gonna have my respect now. A white boy? What's a white boy got to do with it? Listen, Sean. If you don't do your homework, you won't get good grades. And if you don't get good grades, Sean, you won't be able to get into a good school. I don't need no school. Felonis Ecstasy didn't need no school. This school was the streets. School is for chumps and I ain't no chump. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I don't know what's gotten into you, but you can't keep doing what you're doing. You know they went easy on you because you've never been in trouble before because you've always been a good student. Now, one more time, Sean, just one more time and they'll have to suspend you. And it will go on your permanent record. Well, they can kiss my permanent. Sean, I am not gonna let you jeopardize your college admission. I am not gonna let you throw away your whole future so that you can listen to that rap crap and be real. Because believe you me, no son of mine is gonna- No son of yours what? Like what you wanna do, Mom? What do you wanna do? I ain't taking no instruction off of you or the mother witches at school. What? What did you say? You heard me. Sean Farrell, I ought to slap the taste out of your mouth. Now you know if your father were here- What? If dad were here, what? You want that? You want dad back here? Because the way you carry on to him, I think you were glad to see him go. A cold front had moved into Lacey's relationship with her son since his father deployed to Afghanistan. Her relationship with his father had turned into a storm. So, what did you do after the movie? Desiree. Now you know it's not a girl's place to kiss and... I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm just at a loss. Not only won't he listen to me, he's starting to disrespect me and the teachers at school. And you say this started about a month ago, when Charles left for Afghanistan? Yes. And so was Sean having any kind of problems with his dad? Were they getting along? They were getting along just fine. It was me he wasn't getting along with. They were like two peas in a pod. And the disagreements were over what, generally? Something about Sean? Well, yes, mainly. You see, I want the best for Sean, the very best. I want him to get into the best schools, the best programs. But Charles, he's like any old college will do, any program, any major. He just won't push the boy to do anything more than the minimum. And what about Sean? What does he want? He wants, well, at least he used to, to go to college. But he's not trying for the best of them. He's not pushing himself because Charles isn't pushing him. And now that's changed somehow. 
Now he doesn't want to go to college at all. He says school is a white thing. And he's gotten all wrapped up in that felonious XTC and that gangster rap. Felonious ecstasy. I've heard of him. He's led more than one young man down the pathway to prison. He's a bad influence. That's for sure. Every time I come into Sean's room, he's watching one of his videos. He's even quoting him and he's starting to dress like him. Sean says he's just telling the truth about life on the streets. The drugs, the violence, and going to jail. But the problem is, he wants to make his truth every young black man's truth. Lacey, I think you should seek some family counseling to help deal with the issues between you, Sean, and his father. In the meantime, though, I think Sean should benefit from some lay counseling. <laughs> I know someone Sean should meet. So you're really not going back yes. to the play then? No. No way. And Stupid. Word to the whole nation. But I didn't think the play itself was the main attraction. I if you know what I mean. Make you. If you're referring to that idiot, I, will make I dumped you him too. A voice unto you dumped Jerome? I thought you two were going out. And you what happened? Shall proclaim the gospel. Well, let's just say he got what he wanted and I got what I wanted. What? You mean that? Yeah. I ain't no five and dime girl, you know. And I let him know that. So then why did you dump him? Because a little Bow Wow wanted to date other women. He said he don't want to be exclusive. Well, that's typical. Where have we heard that story before? Yeah, so I told him, I don't play that. Either you are with me or you are without me. There ain't no in-between. There ain't no sharing. He don't like that, so I told him to take a hike. <laughs> well, good for you, girl. You know, lately... Yes. I've been tempted to do the same thing with Charles. What? With a Bible Charles? Design and blessed by so he playing King the old sleep around game too? No. Let the season pass He's playing the I gotta go Call help now. these poor people at the free clinic instead of supporting his own family game. I swear, that man, everything Me and everyone comes God. before us. It's God. always something. For the free so clinic. The a army. Where does Sean and I fit into it? Nowhere. We reap the rewards of our giving. If we tied the change left over from our piggy banks at the end of the week. This is how the Lord blesses us. With spare change after he has blessed everyone else. But if we tithe with the measure of our faith, if we give to the Lord first and ourselves afterwards, the Lord will not only take care of our needs, but he will pour out his blessings upon us tenfold. He good. And the men who have everything but won't give us none of it. Amen. Lord, Save us from them. Save us from their skin flint, self-righteous ways and their insistence. Their insistence on putting everyone and everything else before their own family. Amen. So, Kanisha, did you mean it? Are you really going to quit the prayer group and the church? Well, it ain't like I'm going back. 
Like I'm gonna let some bow wow rub my face in it with some old witch. Cause I told him where to go? Hmm. Like I said, I don't take nothing from nobody. So you think he's just going out with Sonya to, well, to get to you? Of course he is. What else would he want with some old woman? And Sonya gonna find that out. But hey, that's her problem. So are you gonna look for another church or something? It ain't like they're hard to find. Hey, what about that pastor we saw on TV at your house? Yes, the pastor from Treasure Tabernacle. Bishop Kingston? I heard him. He really got the fire. Yeah, maybe I'll go see him preach. You know, Sonia's gonna be sorry to see you leave the prayer group. That ain't the only thing she's gonna be sorry for. What do you mean? I mean, she got some nerve too. She always telling us to be all Christian to each other. How everybody gotta be lovey-dovey. Then look what she go and do. Yes. I think I see what you mean. But it's more than that. It's like, she doesn't really know how men are. Like, she hasn't really gotten the experience we've gotten, if you know what I mean. No, that ain't true. Sonya ain't like that. What are you talking about, Desiree? She has the worst experience than any of you. I mean, how much do you really know about Sonya? Well, that was some performance, wasn't it? So, how was your day with Reverend Williams' nephew, Marley? Look, Mom, I'm sorry. I never met. I know, Sean. I know. It's just that I wanted to... To be a man? Yeah. I know, honey. You're right. It's just that there are right ways and wrong ways to go about it. I mean, well... Just look at your father. If you want to see a good model of what a man is, just look at him. What? Nothing. It's just, that's the first time I heard you say something good about dad and well and forever. You're not the only one that went on an interesting outing that day. There were some things that I had to learn too. I know I've done some things wrong, but listen, I promise you, things are gonna change. It's gonna change a lot. Despite all the fireworks, Reverend Williams' message actually got through to some of them.